Well, hey, welcome uh, to Mount Jefferson. Now, I guess some of y'all might have heard that the mountain, the park, has been closed for a little while. And that's true, but we are going to be opening up. And uh, we're still working, kind of keeping the park nice and clean. The animals are, are still roaming around and having a great time. I've seen lots of deer and grouse and turkeys and uh, all sorts of little interesting bugs. I might try and show you a bug later on uh, in our video. But I thought I might tell you a little bit about something. Uh, we're having a poetry contest again. This is our, I think our 12th annual Mount Jefferson Poetry Contest. And this year, we're gonna ask you if you'd like to write a poem. Uh, it, it can be any length, it can be any style. There's all kinds of styles of poetry. We get some wonderful poems, and I know that you are going to write a wonderful poem too. Now you might wonder, well, why do I want to write a poem for Mount Jefferson? Besides it being a lot of fun, we're going to have prizes. We're going to have sleeping bags, backpacks, tents, maybe telescopes, and flashlights. So those will all be prizes. You could actually write a poem and then end up winning a tent. So the categories would be just what you think about Mount Jefferson, how you feel about Mount Jefferson. You could do poetry of science. Somehow try and relate words that you've been learning in your science classes to maybe the mountain itself, to maybe the geology or some of the plants. Here's a poem that one of the students wrote in the poetry of science. First place in poetry science. Here's my poem. Magnificent rocks of Mount Jefferson. Wow, was that a geology? And it was also in the form of a poem. That was one of my favorite poems that I've that I've uh, read. And we have had thousands and thousands of poems over the years. So, you know, you might go outside in your yard. Might just go out and look out the window. Go outside and get inspired. Maybe you could even see Mount Jefferson from where you're at. But or you might have to kind of think back or maybe look at some pictures. But think about Mount Jefferson, get inspired, and one uh, poem you might want to write, you might think about, what, what am I going to do when Mount Jefferson's open and we can go back out in the park and play again? You might write a poem about that. Or you might just want to write a poem about the nature that's outside. Another really beautiful poem that talks about how beautiful the park is and that the park belongs to you. That's right. Remember, I work for North Carolina State Parks, and North Carolina State Parks says that the park belongs to the people. And you're a person, you're people, so we all own this park. And this student here wrote a poem about how she loves Mount Jefferson. And I won the Gifted Writers in Mount Jefferson Poem Contest of 2010. This is my poem. The Feelings. On Mount Jefferson, I feel free wild and peaceful at the same time. I feel happy when I see the different varieties of plants, flowers, and butterflies. So spellbinding they are. The tune of the birds and the pitter-patter of the squirrels and chipmunks looking for nuts is nature's music. I feel microscopic like a tiny bug when I look at the land before me. I feel different on this mountain, but in a good 
good way. I feel wonderful when the wind blows through my hair and I close my eyes and smell the sharp, fresh air. And when I'm at the peak, I look down and feel like the king of the world. I own this mountain. Everyone does. I will protect this land. I will protect it so it will feel as happy as I do. Well, that's a, a beautiful poem. And I know that you can write a poem that's beautiful and that that really expresses your feelings and your 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 thoughts and your ideas about Mount Jefferson. So I'm going to challenge you to do that. Write a poem and submit it to your send it to your teacher and then your teachers will forward those to me. And what's going to happen then is we're going to judge the poems and then our poet laureate, the poet laureate appointed by the governor of the state of North Carolina is going to help judge these poems. They will read the poems and uh, then we'll notify the winners of the uh, 2020 Mount Jefferson Poetry Contest. So I look forward to seeing your poems and I guess I better get back to kind of raking a little bit. You have a great day and I look forward to seeing some of your poems really soon. We'll see you later from Mount Jefferson.